Hi and welcome to this video where I'm going to demonstrate to you the Eppendorf Explorer Electronic Pipettes. Today I've got the 10 microliter 12 channel with me and it's the Explorer version. There's also the Explorer Plus version and on the charging stand over here I've got the Explorer Plus. It has a few more features and you can tell the difference because it's got more things you can select there on the dial whereas the standard Explorer it has less items and the way to turn that one on is by switching it away from the off position. I'll demonstrate on the single channel today with the Explorer Plus. The on switch for this one is at the top here, which you can switch this way. Newer models you just press and hold. And let's start with the pipette mode, PIP. There's a, you can notice there's an up button and a down button, just slightly embossed there. Two soft keys and the ejector button. The barrel itself is spring-loaded, which means that you don't need to jam or rock when you're putting on tips. You only need to push down until the ejector sleeve meets the top of your tip, and that's it. So I'll press the edit button, or the soft key for edit, and let's change the volume maybe to 85 microliters. And there's actually eight different speeds, so let's go the fastest speed for the aspiration and the dispensing speed, and then I'll end when I'm ready. Putting the tip in, pressing the up button, and then pipetting to where I want to. Press down. There's a bit at the end, so I press down again to blow. Now if there's still another bit, you can actually press down and blow again. Otherwise, I can press up and go take the next aliquot. The next mode we're using is pipette and mix, which is P slash M. This adds two extra parameters. Let's press edit, and let's leave it at 100 microliters. Aspiration speed, fast, leave it at 8. And then the number of cycles is for your mix. Let's do 5 cycles, and the mix volume, maybe let's, let's make it 85. So I pressed end when I'm ready. The up arrow is highlighted because I'm ready to draw my liquid. And now when I dispense, pressing down, it's doing my mix cycles automatically. So the next mode I'm going to de demonstrate is dispense mode DIS. And I'm going to edit that program. Let's leave it at 40 microliters. Aspiration speed and five replicates. Let's make it four. And to store that data, now the up arrow is highlighted, so I'll go to my solution. And I draw up, pressing up. Now you can see it says discard the first step, so I'm pressing down. Now I'm ready for my four steps. So I go to my destination and press down each time. One, two, three, four. Now, at this point, I can draw up again using that dead volume that I have in the, in the end of my tip. Pressing up. Let's the first step. And now my destination. Pressing down one, two, three, four. If I'm done, I can return that dead volume again, going back to my, and press down twice it says. One, two. There's dispensing mode. So next we'll go for auto dispense, which is basically the same as dispense, except you now have a time interval. This point here, dispense the first volume. And now as, soon, as long as I'm pressing the down, it would be dispensing at 0.7 second intervals. So it makes life just a little bit faster. 